Well, hi there, and thanks for stopping by for this week's episode of Explore Tulsa. And we start the show with musical sisters. Then an artist that leaps from the sky. Followed by what Tulsans are doing for kicks and giggles. Plus fun on one wheel. Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. We are so happy to see you back with us for this week's Explore Tulsa. Trish, it's so hard to believe that it was this month in 1978 when Stillwell High School Junior Jackie Stanley won the National Campbell's Cooking Contest. Her recipe for a Mexican casserole beat out 8,000 other contestants for a grand prize of $6,000. That's like $22,000 in today's money. She was rolling in the dough. Get it? Kicking dough? Yeah, rolling, thanks, TV. You know? I got it. <laughs> I recently met a couple other young women that were mixing up a recipe for success of their own. That's right. Camille and Haley are a great example of the amazing talent that Tulsa has to offer. So good at reading emotions and you are a diary of questions. We've been friends for a while now. I'm scared to tell you I don't know if you feel the same way I do. I wish I didn't like you so much. I wish that it could be just like it was. Wish that I could stare into your eyes and forget to blush. I wish I didn't like you so much. I wish that I could take it back a notch. I wish that I could think about your smile without falling in love. I wish I didn't like you. My name is Camille, and I started at 10 years old in the kitchen, and Haley started in the kitchen as well. At How old are you? 13. 13. And so she was singing, I was playing guitar. And then 13, you started playing guitar to Guitar, to too, because I wanted to learn Taylor Swift's Tim McGraw. It's her first song she ever came out with, and I was like, oh, I need to play that song. So <laughs> I was in my room for probably two or three hours just learning those four chords, you know, and I realized how easy they were later. But it was just good memories for me. Game on. Join the fight. We just played together uh, for like the first time, all of our family on the stage of our church, like maybe like a day or two before we made this video for Rick Santorum in 2012. We got really inspired by him and listening to him speak and his values and uh, his policies. And so I was like, what can I do to help him? And um, someone said, how about you write a song and I'll help you share it. Next thing you know, it like went to a million views in two weeks and started traveling with Rick Santorum. We had a lot kids, of parodies. Seven, eight kids on stage, <laughs> all jamming out, air guitaring, really. Like, they weren't really playing. <laughs> no, and we had somebody that did a parody that was actually how people were actually playing the instruments and how it would really sound. If it was like, really. There was no piano in there. We just had my mom, you know. It was kind of funny. It was fun. <laughs> Singing at the golf course really sharpened our skills a ton because we were singing like twice a week. Um, our, our friend Jim said, everybody here is about 50 and up that really plays golf all the time. You have to learn Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash, Loretta Lynn, Patsy Cline. Cline. And we're like, what? <laughs> yeah. No. And then we like didn't know like almost any songs from any of the artists. We just heard them in passing maybe over the years. We didn't even know On the Road Again we until I, I heard a reindeer, a talking reindeer at the flea market singing it. And I was like, Oh, it is, it is famous. a famous song. <laughs> so we're like, we should learn that okay, song. Okay, so we're the we're the uh, the rookies. But we just put our own little spin on it, and yeah, and that's fun. Love is a burning thing, and it makes a fire ring. Bound by wild desire, I fell in to a ring of fire. definitely 
had grown up, well, first from a big family, and my dad's always been like, my girls sing, and like, sing now. And people are like, oh, don't make them <laughs> sing. We're like, yes, we want to sing. sing. And so uh, we'll just like break out and song anywhere. And we're very like people oriented. We really want to make an experience for the people that come to our concerts or whether it's a concert they thought they were coming to or not, we consider any kind of time that we're singing a concert. And being PKs and working... Pastor's uh, kids. And being pastor's kids and leading worship for two years uh, we really, helps with that, you know. We really lost the fear of being in front of people because you realize people aren't, like, people are wanting to like you. They people want to love you. People are nothing to be afraid of. Yeah. Now, do you like the, um, na-na-na-na-na-na or... Ready. We just can't stop. And I mean, it doesn't matter what, like we've done different side jobs and every time we do anything else, we're like, get me back to the stage. I just want to be singing for people. We see music as like a way to influence people, entertain people, um, have fun, be ourselves. And do what we love. Do what we love. Those two are so adorable and they put on such a fun show too. I encourage you to try to catch them. If you want to book them for your next event or learn what they'll be playing next, visit CamilleAndHaley.com or look them up on Facebook. I'm hoping Camille and Haley will help me with my next single. What would your song be about? A heartfelt story about an artist that works on Native American paintings while working as a family therapist and loves skydiving. I call it brave listener from above. Why don't we just do an Explore Tulsa segment on Steve Phelps instead of you making us listen to you sing. Well, if you're going to be that way about it, stick around. Meet Steve Phelps next when Explore Tulsa continues. Hey, it's Stevie from Explore Tulsa with my friend and optometrist for many years, Dr. Robert Zellner. Tell everybody why it's so good to come in to see you. <laughs> well, that's a great question. Let's see, we've got two great locations. We try to stay cutting edge at every point along the way because let's face it, everybody wants to come in and get taken care of in a timely fashion and get the latest, greatest stuff and save some money and get on with their life. And, see, and see clearly. And if you don't believe it, look on the website. Absolutely, drzellner.com. You can find that we have our two locations at 69th and Memorial and 30, 3030 South Harvard, or you can give us a call at 749-2020 or 461-2020. And I got four kids, and I gotta tell you, as a big family like that, it's affordable too. Oh yes, and of course, the number one reason, you save some money. I mean, with our two pair specials, with our uh, different unique packages that we put together, I mean, you can come in here and your money can go a lot farther than anywhere else. And that's why with Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates, Seeing is believing. Oh, I like that, yeah. Stevie. Well done. <laughs> oh, you'll be so glad you stuck around for more Explore Tulsa because next, our guest is a man who's done it all. That's right, Stevie. Steve Phelps has been a Green Beret, cartoonist, skydiver, family counselor, and now an artist who creates beautiful Native American art. Plus, he's just really a great guy to hang out with. Thirty years ago, I was a respiratory therapist, but I had a really hard time dealing with children dying and clients not doing well. So I would come home, had all kinds of issues. So I actually got out of that ministry or that work, and uh, years later, I got back into psychotherapy. But I knew I had to be able to leave my work here. And so when I come home and I'm stressed out, you know, I have several outlets. I teach people to skydive on weekends, so on weekends I'm usually doing that. However, during the winter, I find myself from like November to about March really having a lot of downtime. And so that's why 2011 I start carving. So I start carving on wood, and then 2012 I start painting. And to me, particularly the painting has been a great therapy that I do all year round now. Well, I'm Steve Phelps. Um, I actually did art in, in high school. I had an art scholarship at North Texas State, but I didn't take it. And so really at that point, art was just something I did. I did a few paintings, but then I just did it for a year or two in the early, late 70s. And then I quit and I drew here and there. But in the 80s, um, I started illustrating for some magazines, some mainly humorous illustrations. But as far as painting, I had not painted since like maybe 77, 76. I worked uh, at a church and I worked at a picture frame office. 
or picture frame gallery, and then I started illustrating for books and magazines. And so I would freelance illustrations and cartoons for magazines, and of course when I did that, then different uh, publishers would know who I was and ask me to do a book, or a different writer would ask me to illustrate a book. Well, of course, mine that I wrote and did was called All God's Children Got Gum in Their Hair by University Press. My background pr was pretty much growing up in a church, so most of my early cartoons were written for uh, religious or pastoral connections, uh, kind of the inside humor of working in ministry. And so I've probably illustrated over a hundred different books uh, with maybe a single illustration, and maybe a dozen books with multiple up to a hundred illustrations. But about November of 2012, a friend of mine who does a lot of skydiving uh, paintings, and he encouraged me to do some because he knew I had an art background. And uh, while I enjoyed doing that, uh, the most fun was I started painting Native Americans. I grew up thinking that I was Native American my whole life. My mom said I was, but never had a um, card or anything like that. But I always felt really attached to that and started painting uh, mostly Native Americans and Western, then first now Eastern uh, woodland. And that's really been my, my love lately, is just that sort of painting. Right now, I'm primarily being what I call the warrior spirit, looking for some sort of inner strength of a warrior, you know, whether it be age or wisdom, or it might be the youth and vitality, or, you know, steeliness of an eye, or one of my favorite uh, paintings was a modern day Native American in modern year, but he had some, some vestige of um, older type garb, like his hair and wraps, and the title of the painting was Never Surrendered. I do a lot of research. I usually read a whole lot about wars, uh, Native American wars, French and Indian War, um, Seminole Wars, um, different wars that the Native Americans have, both with uh, whites and French and Anglos and with each other. And that kind of usually gives me the inspiration about why I'm painting or what I'm painting. I do work with adolescents, and so that usually is a good bridge for them, because I'm 59, so I'm able to relate to them in that aspect, and so that usually is a good way for me to relate to them. And uh, so we do talk about it. Often they will uh, say, I want to go skydiving with you, and of course I remind them that I don't want to create a conflict of interest, but they show back up, I'd be glad to take them, and that's where I usually leave it. Well, I get the rush of jumping with someone who's jumping for the first time. So to me, it's like doing it over again, over and over and over and over again. I mean, it's just at ease sitting out there with one foot on a step and one hand on a strut, helping a guy get out of a plane going 90 miles an hour as I am riding a bicycle. <laughs> Most clients of mine need an outlet, and they're used to not having any outlets, particularly if they have an addiction issues, because their joy has gone away. And so by getting them to art or something to be expressed themselves, to get outside themselves, to express their emotions and just release it. So it's a little good therapy for me, but it also helps me with clients relate to a therapeutic intervention with them that would be helpful. Check it out, I got my very own Steve Arino original. Mm, a pirate, he kind of resembles you. What? <laughs> if you'd like to learn more about Steve Phelps or his work, visit stevearino.com. I think the Pirates will be the name of my new soccer team at Soccer City Tulsa. You on a soccer field? Now yeah. this I gotta see. Then stay close. We head out to Soccer City Tulsa when we come back with more Explore Tulsa. It's ORU like you've never seen before. ORU's Conference and Event Centers invites you to consider us for your next event. With over a dozen venue options and more than 40 years of putting on big shows, we're confident we have just the right venue solution for you. ORU's Conference and Event Services is a full-service operation catering to the needs of the university and the community of Tulsa. Getting married? Then the Prayer Gardens or Christ Chapel can accommodate any size wedding party. Or if your event is all business, ORU has the finest conference, banquet facilities, and equipment in all of Oklahoma. And we have plenty of fun too with summer camps covering volleyball, soccer, swimming, baseball, and more. Call and find out how ORU Conference and Event Services can be your all-inclusive event venue. 
918-495-6400. Thanks for joining us as we get ready to jump on the soccer field on Explore Tulsa. Soccer has always been a big sport in Tulsa, from back when Charlie Mitchell led the Roughnecks to the playoffs. To today, where Tulsans are readying for the new Roughnecks to take the field at One Oak in 2015. Until then, fans of all ages spend their time playing and learning at Soccer City Tulsa. Soccer is a great sport because it's great for balance and coordination and, and physical activity. So it's a great exercise. Uh, it's just a great sport to teach teamwork and uh, it's the number one sport in the world. Well, my name is Kerry Schubert. I'm general manager of Soccer City, Tulsa. I played my entire life. Uh, started at Broken Air Soccer Club and then I played uh, competitive soccer here in Tulsa all the way through high school. And then I went on to play college at Oklahoma Christian University in Edmond. And then I played semi-pro with the Oklahoma City Warriors uh, for two years. And then I got into coaching in 1989. And I currently coach for uh, Tulsa Soccer Club, uh, TSC Hurricane, as well as uh, you know, run and manage Soccer City Tulsa. We purchased the facility in uh, July 2005. We did uh, major improvements, shut down for like four months, put in brand new fields, uh, brand new concession stand, offices, we did the parking lot, um, and we opened in uh, November of 2005, and we've been open ever since. Yeah, we have a program called Little Kickers. It's a nationally known child development program. We have over 750 kids that come here once a week, ages 18 months to nine years. The only day we don't have classes for Little Kickers is Sunday. It's all about child development, coordination, movement, learning to uh, follow rules, learning to get along, learning teamwork. Normally it's uh, the very first sport someone's going to enter, so if you have a two or three year old, it's the first time they can get an organized activity. Uh, the women's group, uh, they come every, every uh, Friday at 9.30. They basically ran every Friday 9.30 to 10.30. They come out and uh, just play for an hour on the field and they say it's great exercise for them. Um, don't have to worry about the weather where it's hot, cold, rain, snow. They come here 52 weeks a year every Friday. We have a league for everyone, whether you're a beginner or whether you're an expert. So it's a very social atmosphere. With the little kickers as well, the parents will come here and meet new parents and talk to them while their kids in class. So we've created a great social environment, and as you can see, it's very clean. And people enjoy coming here, and, and not just for the physical activity, for the social aspect as well. We have leagues for men's over 40, for men's over 30. We have leagues for men's A and B, which is the top level leagues. We have men's C and D leagues, which is lower, lower level leagues. We have women's leagues. We have co-ed leagues. We have co-ed leagues for beginners and co-ed leagues for experienced players. We have about 75 co-ed teams here that play here. We also have a co-ed over 30 league. And that's on the Saturdays. It's a little more, more non-competitive. So whether you're an expert, college, ex-pro, you can come here and play, or whether you've never played the sport, there's a, there's a league for everyone here. We feel we provide a, a great product to come here and play. Whether it's 100 degrees outside, or whether it's 20 degrees outside, you can come here and play indoors. The, new, the two new franchises, the Athletics and the Roughnecks, I think is great for Tulsa. And the Revolution, there's an, also an indoor pro team. It only provides more excitement and, and gets the soccer on the map for people that don't know about soccer. Soccer is very popular in Tulsa. And so, you know, we provide something that you can do outside of outdoor soccer, which a lot of people like. And so we, we feel like it was a needed product in Tulsa and for 10 years it's been great to us. 
I love watching those little guys mixing it up on the soccer field, exercise, and learning how to work together as a team, except for that one little redhead that kicked me in the head. If you're interested in getting your child or yourself started in soccer, visit SoccerCityTulsa.com. What if you want to learn how to ride a unicycle? Do you know anybody I could call then? Well, I happen to know someone that could probably help you with that too. Oh, I've always wanted to learn how to balance on one wheel. Then maybe Christopher Middlebrook of BAM Entertainment can help you out. Yeah, unicycling <laughs> next when we return with more Explore Tulsa. Hi, Dr. Robert Zellner here. For over 20 years, I've offered affordable, convenient eye care in Tulsa. Right now, you can get one pair of glasses or contact lenses starting at just $99 or my two-pair deal for $129. Hey, and as always, the eye exam's included. Walk-ins are always welcome. Glasses are ready in about an hour. Plus, we have over 2,000 frames to choose from. We're open seven days a week. Come see why we're voted Tulsa's best. And our drive to at 69th and Memorial makes pickup simple and easy. For the best eye care value in Tulsa, Dr. Robert Zellner & Associates. Simon Hollow Village and Flea Market. Shop 15 buildings on three acres. Free admission and parking's free too. Open every weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Find us one block east of 71st and Garnett behind the Salvation Army store. <laughs> Y'all come out and see us now. If you love a good murder mystery, then you'll be so glad you stuck around for more Explore Tulsa. That's true, Stevie, but BAM Entertainment offers so much more amusement, too. Was it the butcher in the linen closet? Oh, give it up, Sherlock. Not only will you find Christopher Middlebrook putting on dinner theater, but he and his crew perform at parties, events, and have some very cool summer camps as well. Just watch Christopher very close. I know he's guilty of something. I grew up in England, in northern England, in Sheffield, um, with a, a theatrical mom and dad. So we used to go every kind of, um, you know, weeknight, we'd go to a rehearsal for a show and I'd, I'd start by, I'd be very interested in performing but I wouldn't have the guts to do it, I was only young and <laughs> I used to make a, a, a little comic called On Stage Weekly and sell it to the, uh, sell it to the actors around rehearsal. It's pretty bad. <laughs> They had like a, um, another company that broke off from that, it was a youth group called Splinters. And uh, I joined that and, and we did uh, Godspell the first year. Yeah, that's how I got my start and then it, that, that really, and I did Hello Dolly with my mom as well. Married a uh, girl from Tulsa. Um, she was working on cruise ships. I, I, to cut, you know, to go forward a little bit, I. Um, worked as a singer on cruise ships. I say singer, I was all round kind of singing, dancing, feathers, glitter, all that kind of <laughs> stuff. And um, she was head of the kids program on cruise ships. So she'd work 56 hours a week, I'd work 12. <laughs> and she'd be partying all night and I'd have to go to bed early and get my sleep. So she didn't like that, but we, we ended up <laughs> kind of getting together and, and eventually moving back to, to Tulsa about eight years ago but I went and worked for a radio station, uh, KBEZ and K-Hits. Sort of did a lot of the, the selling there, but I also got a chance to go on and do some voices sometimes on the radio and be the English guy for voiceovers. And then my wife said to me, you know, you still need to do theater, acting, performing, she said, because you're depressed when you're not doing that. So um, I quit <laughs> four years ago and formed um, BAM Entertainment, which is my mum's initials, Barbara Ann Middlebrook, and, uh, and, and started off with the stuff that I knew would make me money the quickest <laughs> to get some money in, which was the clowning, puppet shows, kids entertaining, that sort of stuff. And then we've kind of branched out over the years to do other things as well. They always seem to love the, the, the silliness. <laughs> kids love silliness, and I've got three boys myself, so it's kind of... You know, if, if I know how to be silly with them, <laughs> I, I can hopefully get some laughter out of the, 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 the kids that I entertain. So I think sometimes it's more about the connection that you have with the children rather than the skills that you have, although I've kind of mastered some of the skills over the years. But there are a lot of people out there I find that have got the skills but don't necessarily have the connection to the kids and, and know how to make them laugh, and I think that's the key. That's, that's kind of what's kept me going all these years, is 
you know, if you want to make kids laugh, you've got to be one of them as well. I came here nearly eight years ago and there was nothing happening downtown. There's a PAC. Uh, the ballpark was in a different place, there was no BOK center. Uh, downtown wasn't a place to go and suddenly it's in the last few years it's really started kind of growing and I see things like the comedy parlor popping up and, and hopefully there'll be some little theatres here and there um, but the, the people that are coming out of TU and that are coming out of all these other places now it, it's there's some really amazing talent in Tulsa but people get people don't think they can make a living here but I think if we keep on growing and, and we, we utilize the talent we've got, it, it, it could turn into something really great. And I do believe that there's more talent here than I've seen in a lot of places, you know. And there's, and there's space for, for talented performers to, to do something here. You know, we're not in London where everyone's a performer, slash, you know, working in a bar, slash, you know, whatever. Um, we're in a place that I think a lot of people can, can make a living here if it keeps going in the right direction. What a very talented guy, and interesting too. Mm, to learn how you can book Christopher or get signed up for one of his summer camps, visit BamTulsa.com. They even do singing telegrams. Maybe I could sing for him. This is your singing telegram. I hope it finds you well. You're invited to a party because we really oh, think you're brother, swell. stick around. There's more Explore Tulsa just ahead. At Bitter Evolution, we've got today's 3D technology. Smart TVs. And I can help you pick the one that's a larger size TV. We handle it all here at Video Revolution. Now people can get a 90-inch TV. Locally owned and operated. Now coming up on a 30-year anniversary. Customer service is our priority. We have our own service center. It just brings back enjoyment to watching TV. And now it's affordable for everybody. And we sell fun stuff. It's like toys for big kids. The customers that come into Video Revolution are blown away. Be sure and join us next week when we meet the guys behind Two Guys Bow Tie. We want to thank Camille and Haley. You are both so very talented, and we look forward to seeing you perform all over town. Thanks, too, to Steve Phelps for sharing with us his artwork, and I've even given the pirate a prominent space in my <laughs> office. Also to Carrie Schubert of Soccer City Tulsa for keeping soccer going year-round. Plus, thanks to Christopher Middlebrook of BAM Entertainment for not hiring CV to do singing. Hey, well, remember, if you ever miss any of the show, you can always catch us at ExploreTulsa.com. As always, each week we feature the people, places, and attractions that make us proud to call Tulsa our home. Hey, don't forget to like us on Facebook. Share with us someone you think Tulsa should know more about. Plus, remember, Explore Tulsa is brought to you by Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Stop by, say hello to Ron and all the guys for all your home entertainment needs. And Explore Tulsa is also proudly brought to you by Dr. Robert Zollner and Associates. Home of the two pair for $129 deal with two locations, 3030 South Harvard and 69th and Memorial. Well, that's all the time we have for you on this week's show, but we'll see you next week right here on Explore Tulsa.